Hello guys, it is me, Victoria, and for some reason, this one situation in my life has kind of plagued and obsessed me. So, that situation is being called out for being shy or quiet, okay? So many times I'm in a situation and people are just like, ooh, you're a quiet one, aren't you? Or oh, uh, you're so shy. And deep down, I'm just like a Tasmanian devil of rage inside just being like, that's so rude, you're quiet shaming me, okay? Like, just because I don't find it easy to be outgoing at all times, doesn't mean you have to like point out my flaw like I already know do you think I don't know that and it's just kind of rude like I don't go up to them and say oh my god you're so loud and obnoxious or like oh my god you're so stupid it's like I don't point out their flaws all right why are they pointing out my flaws as you can see this problem like for some reason it just irks me like it's my pet peeve and I've made a lot of progress recently overcoming this and just realizing the answer is acceptance, and the acceptance paradox, and I need to not defend myself, but simply accept, and also, on a deeper level, accept that I am shy. I have had social anxiety. I struggled with it a lot throughout my life, and just recognize that for myself, because I was kind of, like, suppressing it, like, not letting myself acknowledge this about myself. Like, I never told anyone I had social anxiety, um, I never told anyone I was shy. So, yeah. So anyway, tonight, um, in the social anxiety group, somebody asked this question, like, oh, isn't it so annoying when people say, you're shy? And I thought I gave him some pretty good advice, and I thought I could share with you guys, basically, how to deal with with this issue of quiet shaming in a truly effective way because I feel like for whatever stupid reason this issue has really plagued me so much that maybe I am the person to offer a good solution to others who for whatever reason it plagues them and by the way most people don't get this at all they're just like there's nothing wrong with being shy and stuff but it's like they don't get it, alright? They don't understand the problem. They have extrovert privilege, if you will. So just forget about them for now and listen to me. So I'm gonna read. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, let me just. I made a voice memo because I'm going to practice responding to these accusations. But I also want to uh, share with you some good responses that I came up with for this guy. So if people say like, oh my god, you're so quiet, you can say, you know what, um, you're right, I have, I have atrocious social skills, okay? You can say, um, if someone says, oh, you're so shy, and you can say, oh, oh yeah, yeah, sometimes I freeze up and can't think of anything to say, does that ever happen to you? Or you can say, that's totally true, you know, I can be incredibly shy something you need to know about me. Or you could even take this more humorous route and say, if someone's like, oh my god, you're so shy, and just be like, I know, my social skills are pretty much the worst in the world. So I thought those were pretty good responses. Um, so now I'm going to try executing them in the moment to see how I do. It's always the hardest. Like when you're writing it, you know, you have keyboard wit. But in the moment, it's it's harder. So let's see how I do. I could crash and burn, as always, and as I often do. So let's go. And oh yeah, and this basically is the idea of the acceptance paradox. Which means... Like this guy was saying, oh, but being shy, that's a weakness. And that's the same thing I thought, too. They're pointing out my weakness. Well, the true key here to totally defeat this thought is that they're pointing out your weakness and it's okay to have a weakness. There's nothing bad about something pointing out your weakness, about somebody pointing out your weakness, because there's nothing bad about having a weakness. And that's what we don't get. We think we have to be 100% 
unweak. We have to be 100% strong, have zero weaknesses, when really it's okay to have weaknesses. And in fact, by admitting our weaknesses, they become strength because it takes a strong person to have this attitude of like, yo, I have weaknesses, I accept them, and I'm not pretending to be perfect so you can't get me for not being perfect because I never claimed to be perfect. All right, uh, let's try this recording. Oh my god, Victoria, you're so shy. Oh yeah, uh, I actually can be extremely shy. Uh, my social skills are pretty much non-existent at parties like this. Why are you so quiet? Well, I'm pretty much the biggest introvert you'll ever meet, so that could be why. Nice. You're shy, aren't you? Uh, I'm, I'm very shy. In fact, I even want a group for shy people. I'm pretty much like the king of the shy. It's queen, sorry. You never talk. I just, just want her to talk to me. That someone said to me and annoyed me so much. You know, sometimes I don't because I freeze up in public and I just can't think of a single effing thing to say. Does that ever happen to you? So, boom! I think I crushed it, guys. What do you think? Comment down below.